वेलकम टू माय व्यूज ऑन न्यूज थ्री न्यूज स्टोरीज फर्स्ट वन इज अबाउट गैत चौरदास इंटरव्यू विद द बीबीसी वेयर ही स्पोक अबाउट डिस आर्मेंट व्हाट डिड ही से हाउ लॉन्ग विल इट टेक फॉर डिस आर्मिंग ऑफ टेगराय फाइटर्स टू बी कंप्लीटेड इट हैज नॉट स्टार्टेड सो फार व्हाट डज प्रिटोरिया एग्रीमेंट से हाउ लॉन्ग विल शुड इट टेक for this armament and what it get the jose secondly uh, african union's high representative obasanjo has arrived in makale tigray's capital and thirdly we have a clip for you from adagrat city of tigray where tens of thousands of idps have entered the city uh, there is uh, mental crisis in adagrat firstly when uh, TPLF uh, and Ethiopian federal government signed agreement peace agreement in Pretoria uh, at the start of this month it was agreed that this armament will take uh, it will be completed in one month agreement was signed on the 2nd of November so it means that by the 2nd of December this armament must be completed this armament means uh, surrendering of heavy weapons by uh, tigray fighters and surrendering of light weapons too then the two sides met in nairobi kenya where military commanders held week long discussions tadase varede and berhanu jula signed declaration it was agreed that the two sides will brief uh, especially uh, tigray side the two sides will brief their military commanders this engagement zones will be established and then after that uh, a disarmament will start uh, so uh, both uh, agreements uh, pretoria and nairobi state that disarmament uh, should start and should be completed in weeks uh, not in months but gaita choreda tigray presidential spokesperson talked to the bbc in an interview he spoke about disarmament what did he say firstly he said that uh, tigray was ready to leave the past behind uh, a lot needs to be done in terms of actions uh, in tigray after the signing of the agreement yes guns have been silenced but a lot needs to be done from the other side from ethiopian federal government side and most importantly he spoke about disarmament what did he say is that disarmament is a political decision it could take months if not years this is a clear violation of pretoria agreement which was signed uh, in november the two parties agreed there that this amendment will be completed in one month now gaeta jo says it could take months if not years it means that uh, tigray side is of this view that uh, this armament uh, will take months uh, and uh, this armament and withdrawal of eritrean military amhara forces are linked the delay in the implementation of the agreement uh, is obviously being seen question is what is the reason behind this delay is ethiopian federal government comfortable with this delay is the delay due to the presence of eritrean military and amhara forces in tigray uh, which are still in tigray though uh, last night i reported that eritrean military had withdrawn some of its mechanized units from one front but largely eritrean military is still in tigray what is the reason behind this delay is uh, the reason uh, eritrea amhara uh, groups or is there any other reason ethiopian government seems to be satisfied with the progress so far we have not seen any 
statements from the government accusing TPLF of slowing down the implementation of the peace agreement. That is why it means that the two sides uh, are working in collaboration. So far, uh, it's not that uh, peace deal is in danger. Perhaps Ethiopian government, uh, mediators, African Union, they know that uh, disarmament cannot be done in just one month. That is why they are uh, uh, not uh, warning TPLF uh, and they are coordinating with TPLF in terms of uh, establishing of disengagement zones. Gatacho confirmed uh, contact between ENDF and Tegarai military commanders on the ground, which is happening. We will confirm by Tadasi Varade as well, Tegarai military commander uh, around 48 hours ago. Good thing is that uh, at least guns have been silenced. Cessation of hostilities is holding. Ceasefire is holding. So other issues are thorny issues, difficult issues, disarmament, withdrawal of error in military, Amhara forces, future status of Raya Volkayat. So it might take some time, but let's hope the two sides remain engaged and they remain convinced that uh, peaceful uh, approach is the only solution to this uh, conflict. Uh, take a listen to what Gatacho said uh, talking uh, to the BBC. So I, I just want to be very clear. Nothing that's happened in the last few days since you were in Pretoria and signed the agreement, nothing has happened to change your commitment to disarm and de demobilize TPLF fighting forces, right? Well, nothing has changed, but we still expect a number of actions to be c carried out before that kind of stuff happens. What we are saying is not, I mean, disarmament is a political process that, that requires not just a month, but probably months, if not years. What we are saying here is we are ready to, to leave the, the past behind us to make sure that our people get the kind of respite they so richly deserve after the suffering the last second viewers also going basanjo africa union's high representative arrived in makale at tigray's capital today he was welcomed by the bratsian government mikhail tigray's president the uh, bratsian uh, welcomed him at makale airport i think and some meetings are being held in makale now uh, when the two sides signed agreement in Kenya, uh, back then Kenyatta had said that uh, he was hoping that their next meetings would be in Makale. And uh, we could see uh, ENDF's entry in Makale, uh, which was mentioned by Ethiopian federal government in a statement a few weeks ago. I think uh, uh, Vasanjo's visit will play a role in accelerating the implementation of the peace agreement over Sanjo was uh, his uh, impartiality as a mediator was questioned by TPLF uh, uh, before uh, uh, the start of dialogue in Pretoria. Uh, in a way, he was rejected as a mediator uh, and the Garai side accused him of being uh, in alliance with Ethiopian PM Abi. But later we saw that uh, Battlefield losses uh, in Tigray forced uh, Tigray forces to accept mediation of uh, Africa Union, Obasanjo and two other African uh, leaders uh, mediated talks in Pretoria, South Africa. Though US was a key player. Without US involvement, uh, it would have been difficult for TPLF to be part of talks in Pretoria, South Africa. Overall, Obasanjo is uh, monitoring, Africa Union is monitoring the peace agreement, uh, implementation of the peace agreement, but implementation must be ensured. Otherwise, if issues remain unresolved, uh, it could lead to resurgence of armed hostilities. Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, we have a video for you from Adagarat uh, where more than 100,000 IDPs have arrived from neighboring towns and cities. There is a worsening crisis in the city. People are 
being seen standing, lying down on the side of the road. They don't have shelter, they don't have food, they don't have access to medicine, access to food, access to healthcare services. Uh, aid organizations must uh, take uh, notice of what is happening in Adyagrat. Uh, they must not focus only on Makale or on Mesabre, uh, Lamata, Shire. They must uh, ensure that aid reaches the people in Adyagrat and obviously other basic uh, items of necessity should also be provided to the people in Adyagrat. Watch the clip uh, showing. Uh, large number of IDPs who have arrived in the city of Tegra, I think, Fuchu. 